Welcome again to another episode of Let's Play with Rasteru. Today we're doing another episode of Kerbal Space Program. As you may recall, I made a prior one, and uh, I had stuff going on, but I found out that newer version of Kerbal Space Program that I cannot use my prior saves, and there's a lot of new features added on to it, so I decided that why not just start anew. That they did some updates to the Space Center here. That you, uh, the buildings look much nicer. The selection of buildings. The, uh, coastline of the planet looks a little better too. So, I'm going to go over some of these uh, buildings that they added in. Uh, as you know, that this is the uh, vehicle launch building, and this is the hangar for your uh, space planes. Uh, or your, uh, you know, normal jets and aircraft for the, for the planet Kerbin. And here's your tracking station, so you can track your uh, all different types of spacecraft in space. And here's your launch pad. And the new thing that they added into is this building right here. And this is sort of like crew recruitment and training center. I can see here that I have availability of three crew. And I have a bunch of applicants. I think I just um, click on one check mark it. So let's pick a good applicant. He's courage but he's stupid. Uh, yeah, why not? And he's there on there. So, also does assignments and loss. So, I see all these Kerbins here. Uh, some of these names don't look like they're uh, English, like, but they're probably from all around the all around the country. Or other countries of different types of common names, but they're all last name Kerbin. Kerbin, man, Kerbin. Um, I wonder if there's a Russell in there. I would like there is a Russell Kerbin, or Rasaru Kerbin, or Ru Kerbin. That'd be exciting. Well, let's get out of here. Um. Oh, in this building right here, I can't remember what it is, uh, but I did remember someone crashed into uh, this building in one of their Let's Play episodes to see what it is and what it comes kind of listed as. So I forgot what that is. Um, but it is not able to use, but it is probably a feature thing to add. It's kind of nice to the designs of the layout. Um, I hope they get the roads in and. I know that they they upgraded the runway a bit, but I wish there's taxiways and parkways, parking spots on the runway. It kind of be nice if that you can have your space vehicles, uh, you know, wait on the taxiway while you uh, you know launch one space vehicle up to do its thing, and another one's ready on the runway that you can just switch stand. Uh, create a new, uh, and then I kind of like a thing, have like a bunch of, I want to have a bunch of jets on the side parked next to the runway, and, you know, I don't know, I just think that it needs to have taxiways and more type of things that an airport actually has with run runway strip. I think at the NASA in uh, oh, NASA's space, the John F. Kennedy Space Center, uh, down in, uh, Florida has more stuff than just a single runway and a hangar. I think they do have waiting places, because they have to have a waiting place or parking spaces for aircraft for the, the jet they used to, uh, uh bring the shuttle back when the shuttle didn't lay, land at the cape. Hangar's different. Well, <laughs> Kermans have vehicles now. It'd be kind of cool if uh, 
we can, uh, you know, take one of these current vehicles and drive it on the surface around the, uh, base. So, what we got here that's new? That's pretty much on the same that page. So, oh, I can. Oh! Does it force me to, uh, click on it? Let's see. It allows you to build some items beforehand. It's not restricting you, except certain objects. To be your first center, uh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Can I delete that? Yeah. I think that's the new feature there that your focus center craft doesn't have to be the command module on it. Yes, yeah, science. So, um, I haven't done so well, so let's see. I need to design a orbital. I need, I need to get my first spacecraft in space uh, for this version here. So, let's see if my design of how I did prior spacecrafts has, uh, you know, been improved or that they don't work anymore. That's the problem with updates. It's like you have these designs and after they update, it doesn't work anymore. Don't need that. Always had to have your space castle collapse. Uh, I kind of like, uh, doing a Gemini look to uh, my spacecraft, so I put in certain things. Do, 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 do. I do not see, uh, huh, I do not see, uh, oh, there it is. Oh, that's the only thing that has been kind of you have to install that. Uh, maybe I want to install the, uh, 19 version. Then the 20 version. Um, yeah, I installed medical jab. I was looking for other medical jab parts, but I think that other ones are in 19. That's the medical jab 2, and you only get the uh, that part for the side of the graph. Okay. Um. So yeah, I need to have that control thing, and I think I'll put it right here. Yeah. So I don't need to have uh, the uh, command thing that I usually have on there. Let's see what else I need. Yeah, I don't need one of this since I have a mechanical job. Okay, I need to have your thrust your uh you have your RCS thrusters here. I need to put this on snap so it's center. Okay, and I I think I want to put this right here. See, it's... Yeah, that's a good spot. It's not... Going over the images or anything like that. And it's not blocking the step away. Okay, what else do I need? Uh, I can't remember. I think there's... I need to put sun on top of it. Oh yeah, the parachute. You have to have the parachute. Oh yeah, wait, I forgot. Batteries. Their own size battery. Yeah, I have to have the battery on there. And then you put the parachute. Where's the parachute located? Center utility. Alright, so those parachutes would... So it's okay in parachutes, it's okay in... Our, my, uh, RCS. Okay. I want to try to at least get this up in space. Oh, I need to have a, uh, not, well, maybe two lights. Actually, take this off for a second. I'm going to have another decoupler. Okay, and then I'm going to have the uh, smaller one. This one right here. Okay, this goes there. All right. And I'm going to switch it off. I don't have a parachute top, but I'll have this docking module here. Alright, so... Uh, so, if, if it looks like that the craft's not going to survive, I just... 
eject the top off of here, and I'll uh, still have the capsule. Another thing you need to do is um, solar panels. I heard that and seen videos that you need to have s a battery a source. I hope that these two are big enough. So I want to put some batteries on here so that I usually put some. I think it's, that goes. There. I usually. Oops. Select the. Uh, I have to probably have to select right here. Yeah, okay, there you go. Want to put some sol more solar panels on here? Want to have plenty of solar and charging energy? All right, my solar panels are okay. So this thing we have, we have full energy, and I hope the battery lasts for some time. So um, that's all for the top. So let's get going on to the bottom. Second stage or third stage that uh, get a tank. Get the right size. Don't want to have a. Just want to do something that's more for orbit. No, I don't want that. Skippy. Uh, orbit engine. To have much for us, I think. Or we'll have a weight issue. Dry mass, dry mass 4. I think that's the wrong size, yep. Virtual mat, that's really small. Hmm. Oops. Uh, hmm. I feel like there's the last engines. I guess I want to go with this one then. Right? I guess. Maybe. I want to have a... Another RCS. Where's the reactive fuel? And the, uh... This RCS, so... Okay, alright. Second stage. Or third stage. However this is going to work. It depends on the weight of the vessel. So we want to have the uh, RCS's and we want to put on the base so that it can coincide with the ones on the top. I hope that doesn't put it on sideways like that's not an effect anything. Don't want to have a RCS is in the wrong position that they can't uh, do something that you want to do. Alright, um, don't need a computer, okay, and um, do I want to put another docking port on this or not? I do have this top docking port. Do I want to have it to another docking port to carry stuff? No, I don't think so. This is just be a simple craft that's gonna take me to space. Okay. And we need to go to our next stage. And we need another decoupler. Wrong size. Alright, and it automatically puts a fairing there, alright, alright, let's see here, I wanna, oops, what did I took off, let's see, I can control Z that at the back, there, where was it, there we go, okay, grab the good thing, scroll up, alright, so, I'm gonna try to, um, have, this thing right here, and I'm gonna see if that I can have four rockets that's gonna power 
up this uh, spacecraft. Okay, so we needed the tanks that w would uh, work with uh, this four. Okay. All right. I may should have a solid tank before I do this. Hmm. Questions indeed. Solid tank and a separator. I thought there was another engine that's bigger size that's same like that. Hmm. Guess not. Or I could put a smaller one on there. Just depends. Maybe I should put a smaller one. That would solve my weight issue. Uh, which one of these smaller ones do a good thrust? That I would want to use for space. Oh, this is the thing right here. I think it's... I see, it's lightweight too, yeah. Alright, that's what I want to use. And put this one here, and then use another decoupler. All right, and then you put this here. I'm getting space issues. Oh, I accidentally made two of those, so I have to. I wondered uh, for uh, it's, uh, I wonder if this many wonder wonder eight tanks be enough. I'll find out. Let's see, I want lightweight but a lot of thrust. Fifteen capable. I can't remember which one of these I usually use. Okay, I just hope that this is a enough, uh, what I need for this thing, um... I wonder if I need any stabilizers. Aerodynamics. Probably should have some kind of structure. Yeah, just just in case. All right. Uh, okay, so we got our tanks there. We got a second stage there, and then we got our space stage and our return stage. This should be sound solid. Hopefully. Just in case, another thing I need to do is put the last well, not the right one. Where's the struts? Okay, need to put a strut here to here. All right. All right, that sounds good. So it should be stable. And I think what to do is name the craft. I was just thinking that um that the uh, Asuki Orbiter uh, needs to have something else that is missing. Um, I think they're uh, I, I think I want to have some lights, more lights on it, to uh, shine up this craft. Oops, not going to want it there. Well, maybe I do. Let's see. I wish there was like um, some kind of smaller Lights that's like uh, just shines shines up on the spacecraft than uh, anything else. Wonder I should have this placed right there so it shines up the craft from there. 
Yeah, that sounds nice. This is Kerbal Command. We uh, see that the rock's on on the launch pad, and we seem to have some win in the area, or that you're top heavy. <laughs> All right, let's see if you can get this uh, going. I use my smart. I'm going to use my mechanical jab here to do the, where is the, orbital ladder, okay, prevent overheating, oh, is, I forgot to check to see if all these are placed correctly, engines, then that separates, engines, goes, Separation, engines, separation, separation, separation. The separation is in the wrong so spot. So my staging is correct. Okay, let's uh, engage the solid pilot. It is ready for to get to over of a hundred kilometers. Looking, don't need to do auto staging, I'm going to do the staging myself. And, blast off! Well. Uh, what just happened? <laughs> it... Do I not have enough thrust? I had four engines on there. That doesn't look right. It was on full two. Hmm. Yay, they survived! I hope they didn't survive. Also, you can't cheat your way to end the mission without... Uh... Anymore? That kind of sucks, and you lose more Kerbins that way. <laughs> well, that kind of failed. I don't know why those engines couldn't... The four engines couldn't, uh... Do it. That doesn't make sense. It's just to compensate. Did he use the... which one did he use? Oh, well, back to the drawing board. Take this down to here. Okay, engage. And... Lift off! Kinda wobbly. And we got a fuel issue. Alright, it's doing its first staging of the turn. And look at that. Kerbal, the curl the space program. Oh, it has switch off to the second engine. I think this might do it with the second stage. Just need to uh, continue. Our winners uh, let it float for a while. Look at the map for a second, and the target orbit. Hmm. I'll unhook. And I'm not 
think I'm gonna reach my turret orbit. Over here, or I'm going to fall back to the planet. On half fuel, it's becoming circular. I maybe am going to reach to a orbit. It's going to be a low orbit, though. Is the orbit? Yeah, the orbit's coming. I wonder if the autopilot's going to stop when it reached to the targeted... Oh, it's going to tune two times. Speed. Automatically. I think it does that for the autopilot. So I am technically in space and technically going to be in orbit. I think the autopilot is going to make sure it does that. It has auto warp on there. Okay, what's my, uh, What's it doing now? All this programming. It's getting speed up. Is figuring out how to s do the orbit. So we're gonna have a burn here in 11 seconds. I'm technically in space. I'm at the uh, targeted. Uh, And look at that. Look how much fuel we have left. Not much fuel. <laughs> if this thing wants to get down to the surface, it has to use its uh, RCS. I have plenty of... Let's close mech jib here. I have plenty of power on here. I can probably waste off some power. Let's turn on lights. And we're doing a slight turn. It was a good idea to put some lights on here. And then you can't... If there was no lights, how would you see it in space? So, this is my accomplishment. I've gotten to orbit. As you can see here. With a little help with MechJib. I could do this on my own without MechJib, but... Kind of, uh, kind of, uh, lazy after doing this, these lunches for... I don't know, who, how long. Kind of just want to relax, sit back, and let the computer do anything. Does it do everything, I mean? Let's, uh, before we end this episode, let's, uh, check what our carbons are doing in the, uh, a slight turn. Kind of odd that the, uh, third panel down there. Alright, and we want to go to... Alright, Bill, it's time for you to do EVA.
Wee. Oh. Uh, yeah, get yeah, that. There we go. Isn't this an exciting day, Bill? You're in space. And don't want to go too far. Your uh, spacecraft is uh, getting away from you. Want to uh, go towards it? Oh, what's the key to do up? I haven't played this long. I thought the one I thought it was L or something. Oh no, Bill, you're you're getting away from your spacecraft. <laughs> what would you do? If my uh keys changed? Well I can't see mapping from this. Well, I guess I'll call this an episode of Kerbal Space Program, and I hope that I know the mapping keys to be able to get back to the spacecraft. We don't want Bill to be stuck out here for the next episode. We want him to return home. Now I thought that's goes. Well, till next time. This is Rue signing off. Bye. Come back, your spacecraft. Come back. Why the keys are not working? <laughs>